Another trick that I found, and we can go back to Max, and this is sort of a fun style that I've tested before. Now that we have a rendering here, one sort of artistic take on the rendering that I like to do as well is, and this is pretty simple to do, when you do a render on the render setup, we're going to go back and then the global switches, we're going to use an override material to get everything white. And in addition to that, we're going to go to rendering environment and atmosphere. And one of the rendering effects here under atmosphere is called a V-Ray Tune effect. So I can click on that, select it. And the V-Ray Tune is a sort of a global effect. You can exclude objects from it. But in this case, I want to apply it for what we're going to do. You can pick the line color. You can pick the pixel width for the line color, which I think I'm going to make that one. And then I'll keep the color black for now. So I think that's good. And so I'm going to render this out really quickly here. And what you'll notice, you know, obviously we have a render material override. So everything is the same gray. Let me just make sure that the rendering is going to not take too long here. Let's wait for it here. I think the trees might take a little while, but let's see. What the rendering tune effect does, it basically renders all the geometry with line work outline over it, which can be kind of cool to create some cool sort of effects in the renderings, and one I'll show in a sec. I mean, it's great for creating diagrams, you know, really simple geometric shapes that you want to see. The line work can be any color, any thickness, so it's a pretty cool effect that you can get.